What's up you guys, my name is Walid. So if you've ever wanted to photograph beautiful ads for like cosmetic, hair, makeup, just all the stuff you see in magazines and billboards, but how do you get that light? How do you get that shadow? How did you guys figure out the lighting? This video, this lighting hack is gonna change the way you see lighting moving forward. By the way, if you're watching this, you probably wanna do your own beauty shoots, whether it's for a big cosmetic brand, a small one, or just for your test shoots. I've got something for you and I'm gonna give you my package uh, my oh, it's my package gift to you so you want to watch this video and then you're gonna find out how you can get yours and it's gonna take care of your business it's gonna take care of your clients it's gonna take care of your actual photo shoot it's gonna be yours it's gonna be free at the end of this video so let's get started all right so the Mac starring you campaign we are looking right in the eyes there's only one little highlight right there and I think that this is um, like a pro photo head with a little bit of a grid on it. What the grid does is make sure that the light doesn't go all the way out, doesn't cause any flares, and the grid also makes the shadows more jam-packed, compact, and the light. So if when you look, it comes down to a really small area. It's beautifully done, and that's why I think that's what that is. We have Lancome with Kate Blanchett, Kate Winslet, Titanic. Kate from Titanic. And when you look at it, first of all, from the outside, it's really, really soft. Like the shadows are almost non-existent, super soft. When you see from her hands, there's not a lot of shadows underneath it. There is, I think one of the things that they did is definitely bring the contrast down. She's a little bit of an older actress versus some of the newer models. So you don't want to use like a big beauty dish hard light. Hard light means also hard shadow. So what we did, or excuse me, what, but I'd love to shoot you, Kate. So what the photographer did for this Lancome ad, my guess is one gigantic, gigantic softbox umbrella. And um, it's hard to really tell, but I'm looking at the, the shadows. It's a softbox umbrella. So it the light goes through the umbrella and then there's like a, a thicker scrim in the front. As I can tell from the eyes, it's definitely not a softbox, but it is softened a lot as opposed to a silver umbrella where the light hits and bounces back pretty hard. All right, I love this actress. I forgot her name, but I, I did see her mop movie and it was pretty good. Um, she just seems like a very lovable person. For Joy Dior, this one for sure I think is a softbox a little bit lower on the ground or right to her side. It's not very high. And then on the other side, you can actually tell there is a big bounce just to soften, uh, to give a good fill, but to soften the shadows a little bit. So that's what I think they're using here. Um, I love your mop movie, by the way. Thank you. You guys help me. I don't know what light this is. I cannot see it. I, I try to zoom in. I don't know what that is, but it's definitely not a soft box. And my God, what do you guys think it is? I don't know what it is. Please leave it in the comments. I actually have no idea. So help me on this one. Let's look at the shadows or lack of. Let's look at the highlights. And but I do love her movies. And Devil's Advocate, one of my best, one of my favorite movies. I feel like if I don't know their lighting, I have to tell you something good about their movie just to make it up to them. Thanks, Charlize. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm at the mall. I'm just trying to find some lighting examples for you guys to show you the different kinds of makeup. So, just walking all around. I'm at the, I'm in Orange County right now. And um, yeah, that's it. Let's see what we find. I think I'm gonna go to Sephora next. Let's see what we get there. This, to me, I think is a beauty dish. One of the reasons why I say beauty dish is because the light hits pretty hard. And obviously you can see the big round thing in her eyes right the the glare but there's also a square bounce right at the bottom of the pupils and I think the reason why they put that square bounce is so when that beauty dish comes down it hits the board and it softens the shadows here and it's not so dark so when you do look underneath her chin that's what we get and I also think it's a beauty dish because she's a lot younger and younger skin can handle beauty dish. Uh, that's got to be a beauty dish. Look at the strong shadows. It's directly in front. You can see it. It's very prevalent and the light is more in the center of her eyes. So she's looking right at it. And another way that you can tell that it's center and a little bit higher is because that shadow is going right here, but it's a very hard shadow and that's pretty much it and then of course they did some Photoshop so you can't see where the shadow lands behind her but the the shadow giveaway under the chin is really big 
and that for sure is a beauty dish. All right, there are three or four ladies on this one, maybe more actually, and it's an umbrella. It's a gigantic parabolic type of umbrella. Um, it has a slightly harder shadow than a regular umbrella, and it's pretty much center, and this looks like a catalog shoot, so each lady has to have the consistent lighting, and they're not like famous models, so they're just gonna get um, the before and after or skin chart comparison, all right? so. Yeah, you get to see it. Not that inspiring. I'm sure it's a wonderful brand. I love this photo. I just love this kind of photography. Makeup artist, retoucher, lighting, photographer. Everyone does such a good job. This is for NARS. And tell you what I'm thinking. Okay, so here's the thing. Her eyeliner up here is so thick that it actually stops some of the reflection. So I actually took some notes here. So I'm going to look down real fast. A really, really strong beauty dish. And I think it's a beauty dish because of the kind of light that it hits and also because of the shadow. So that's always one of the dead giveaways of Beauty Dish. She's younger, she's a beautiful model, so there's that. Maybe a parabolic, I think it's those two. There's no way it's a ring light, it's not an umbrella, it's not a softbox, so we'll go through process of elimination. And when you go into her eyes, they definitely are using a big, big bounce too. I think that the bounce is also there for some of the dress to give it some highlights, but I think that a beauty dish is actually, now I take it back, a beauty dish is too small. I think that this is a big, gigantic parabolic and it covers a wider area and you can see some of the fall off on the white wall behind her that is actually great. So I take it back parabolic we just go through the steps and um, try to figure out where the light is you see where the light is is coming in from this hard side of her face and you see where the shadows fall um, and the bounce softens some of the shadows but I'm gonna go with a big fat parabolic beautiful picture by the way all right look you guys in review before this video, you weren't sure how to see what kind of lighting people use, how they got the certain shadows and highlights and all that stuff. Now you know, it's in the eyes. That's where it's at. So you look in the eyes, you learn. Now let's continue. I'm gonna say it's a grid with a little bit of a bounce. You can see the bounce right underneath her, obviously, and it helps light up her upper uh, chest and throat area and all that. But I think it's a grid because the hair and all that isn't very vibrant. It looks like the light is just hitting dead center and that's about it. And the bounce is help, helping to fill up the rest for this Charlotte Tilbury brand. It's not beauty dish. I don't think it's parabolic. It's not an umbrella. It's not a softbox. It's not a ring flash. Ring flash isn't used that often. It hasn't been used for any of these. So I'm going to say that this is that. It's got a grid. And that's why the shadows are like the light and the shadows are a little more compacted. And, and I just think that the light is very, very directed. So it's right at her face, not even in the outskirts of her face. So it's a small area that it's hitting. It's her face and it's the makeup palette. That's my guess. Okay, guys, I have a favor to ask of you. I'm trying to do this differently. As you can see, um, every once in a while, I get a comment that's saying, why hasn't this channel blown up yet? Well, I don't do clickbait videos. I give videos that I wanted when I first started photography. I give content, I give education, I give advice that I wish I had. So I'm giving it to you guys. And if you can help me out, more people will be able to find out about this channel. If you share, if you subscribe down here, if you comment, I don't know. I really don't know what the hell alien light is that? Because when you look in her eyes, it looks like what kind of alien light shape is that? I need your help to tell me, please. Leave it in the comments. I want to know because it looks like a flower. It looks like it has four clove areas. Um, I don't know what kind of, don't know what kind of Satan light that is, but it's a beautiful light, you know? And it's not a softbox. Looking at that shadow, no. Maybe some kind of freak parabolic? I don't know, but I just can't tell. So, if you can, Please leave a comment, let's discuss, let's start a debate, let's start. The photographer who shot this will chime in if she or he um, ever sees this video. It was one of my favorite kinds of photography. It's really unique to have this for makeup photography and 
it's a big fat it's not even a soft box it's actually a couple lights maybe one light behind a big gigantic scrim and you can see that in her eyes there is no bounce so one side is very dark and moody and they obviously took the shading higher um, in post-production but you just see a big massive scrim and I think that's what the photographer did which is a beautiful choice for this moody black and white love it I just love it so much actually I get excited seeing other people's work because it's so unconventional for um, for beauty like they don't people are like black and white when you're selling colors boom that's a brand that takes chances that's a photographer that takes chances okay big fat parabolic you can just tell um, the shadows underneath are tiny tiny bit softer so it still has some elements of umbrella and it has some personality of umbrella but if you look at the shadow right here it's not like this hard definitive line for the Chanel ad it's a little bit softer so that makes me think that it's a parabolic um, obviously the fa the face is very blown out that's a lot of post-production too but the way that that light hits that's very parabolic uh, personality and then you get to also see the big fat round parabolic umbrella that's in your face and it doesn't look like they use a big bounce nearby but it looks like there might be one a little bit to the side so uh, you judge you tell me on that the whole exercise with this what this does is it tells you a great starting point and then from there you tweak it and you find out exactly what they did but actually better yet you tweak it and you make it your own that's what we do Final one, bonus one, one of my favorite pictures. Uh, do you say Rouge Allure? It's beautiful and it's different from everything else. So all they really did when you go right into her eyes, it's one light. I don't know if they use the grid or not. So I really don't know or some kind of big snoot or something. They definitely used the gel. But what they did not do is put the, so if this is the light, they didn't put the gel right in front of it. What they did is kind of hang the gel a little bit from the side that's why you see the light spilling and becoming white so that's how they got this now there's different ways to get these lights this is what I'm guessing what it is and this is one way that you can do it judging from the cheekbones I think that that's more makeup but it was the light was coming down from this angle quite simple I mean she's wearing all black background is Photoshop so we don't know exactly how the shadows fall on her because it's black it's one major key light directly on you can pretty much tell you can tell from the shadow of the nose that's a giveaway and it's a little bit off to the left I love it so you guys I hope that that helps you these are like this is how I do my lighting so I hope that it helps you guys and please share this all right you want the free package here's what you got to do the link is in the description when you sign up what's gonna happen is I'm going to instantly download you the first gift. The second gift is coming the next day and the third gift is coming the following day. These gifts are, they're curated by me. I picked them because I think they're going to help you the most. And what's going to happen is you're going to learn how to plan your week, plan your day. And it's not any ordinary planner. I designed it for photographers. It's what I use. Then you're also going to learn how to use um, a template that I have that's going to help you work smarter not harder find the right clients find them easier and know how to talk to them exactly and then the third one is going to take you on set so what that is is a template or a worksheet that i use it's got questions it's got checklists it's everything that you need to make sure that your day on set runs smoother but you're getting three major gifts from me and that can be yours instantly if you click the link down below and sign up. Click subscribe down here, please. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you. I don't know what to do with my hands when I'm done. Like, thank you. So weird.